In this SQL video, we'll take a quick look at some other things we can use in the WHERE clause. We can use the word IN to replace the use of the logical operator OR, and we'll look at uh, evaluating for NULL and NOT NULL. So you will need to have your Oracle account and uh, access to the student team's database. We won't actually work with HR this particular uh, video. There's a handy alternative to using the OR operator, and uh, it can save you a lot of typing and also some of the confusion of how to actually handle the OR operator, where we've mentioned before you need to make sure that you use parentheses to control the sequence in which uh, data is evaluated. So we're going to use an IN clause, and in parentheses we will add the values we want to evaluate for. So let's get a list of students in these teams. IT pros, SysDes, System Designers, and Tech, so Tech Solutions. The initial SQL command might look like this. We're selecting columns in the Select clause, designating the table in the From clause, and in the Where clause we want to see Team ID if it's IT pros, or if it's SysDes, or if it's TechSo. So you could type all of that out, but a quicker, uh, faster way to type it and easier to read uh, format would be to use in. So in the WHERE clause we have student team ID in, and then in parentheses we have listed the three values that we want to check for. And we get the results here, and you'll get the same results for either one of these. Keep in mind that if I were to add another evaluation item, say using an AND operator, I would have to make sure, sorry, I would have to make sure that I have the parentheses around all my OR evaluations. And that's built in, so to speak, when you use the IN clause. Now we can also quickly modify that and say list students who are not in these teams, you just add the word not. It can't get any easier than that. So we have where student team ID not in and then we've listed the three values that we are checking for. You can look for null as in no data and in this case we'll see if we have any students that have no team ID. In other words, they have not been assigned to a team. So our SQL statement is select student team ID, first name, last name, our columns in the select clause, students in the from clause, that's the table, where student team ID is null. And the result that we see here is we have two students, uh, Carla and Teresa, that are not assigned to a team. A good way to cross-check that, double-check that, would be to list students who are assigned to a team. And so we've just added the word not, as in is not null. And we see uh, I've only given you a partial output of 13. So we have two not assigned a team, 13 with a team assigned. And if you think back to previous videos, if you've looked at those, we know that we have 15 students. In fact, in the next slide, what we'll do is step through and, and double check all of this by using a count. So we'll see how many students there are using select count asterisk from students and we see that we have a total of 15 students. How many students have not been assigned to a team? Select count asterisk from students where student team ID is null and we have two which we saw listed individually in the previous slide. And then we have how many students have been assigned to a team. Select count asterisk from students where student team ID is not null. And we get our count of 13. And if we switch to SQL developer and look at the students and look at the data, because this is a small table with not very many rows, we can do a visual check and we can see, in fact, that Teresa and Carla don't have a team assigned. That's why we're seeing null in parentheses there. So in this short video we've looked at an alternative to using the OR operator and that's the IN clause and we've looked at NOT IN, IS NULL, and IS NOT NULL.